This is a caudal vertebrae. So this is one of the tail vertebrae. It's really little, pretty tiny. There's a whole bunch of them. Caudal vertebrae. This one, also fairly easy to identify because it's a fusion of three vertebrae. This is the sacral vertebrae. So this sits right between the pelvic girdle. So, these are the same side of the pelvis, but if they weren't, it would sit right here. Okay? So, sacral vertebrae. Um, let's see. Lumbar vertebrae. These guys are lumbar vertebrae, and they have the largest centrum, which is this big round part right here. And they also have, um, don't drop this, okay, uh, transverse processes, which stick off and go anteriorly, so towards the head. These are the transverse prophecies. You also have pre-zygopophyses and post-zygopophyses, also known as anterior zygopophyses and posterior zygopophyses. Pre-zygopophyses are the ones that go hands up. So if you're looking at it and it looks like this, these are pre-zygopophyses. So these are pre-zygopophyses right here the black ones. post zygopophyses are hands down. They're right here. So the whole reason that they say pre and post, so or anterior, this is the one that's facing the head of the cat. These are the ones that are facing the um, tail of the cat. So you can see the post zygopophyses that are colored in black right there. Hands up or hands down. Okay. So those are your uh, lumbar vertebrae. Um, this is a special vertebrae. Anybody know what this one is? Atlas. I believe. Yeah, Atlas. Axis. I don't know. This is your. Axis upper. Yeah, this is an axis to a much smaller cat than that one, but this is your axis. And these two will. Yes, because it has these nice large things sticking off the side here. And your axis has this kind of like long ridge right here that almost looks like an axe. Okay. Let's see, um, sacral vertebrae, we talked about there's three of them fused together, caudal vertebrae, where's my um, thoracic vertebrae? How you can see it's a thoracic vertebrae is if you turn it upside down, it's T-shaped. So it has this really long uh, neural spine, I think is what it is. Anyway, um, and off to the side are these places where the ribs would attach. Okay? You can look at it on here too. Because here's your thoracic vertebrae, and then your ribs attach off to the side of them. You should know the number, how many there are of each of these. All those things. Um, also in the box, if you look at it, there are some more parts to the vertebrae labeled. You should know those. Um, let's see. Okay, another favorite question of the other TAs. You have the sternum, which isn't exactly like our sternum. Our sternum's pretty solid. It's like a big bone. Their sternum is made up of like several small bones that are connected together. And you have the most posterior end over here, which is the xypha sternum. And then you have the most anterior end, so facing the cat's head, is the manubrium. 
And these little things that are little pieces of cartilage are called costal cartilage. Okay, we already went over the pectoral girdle. Last thing, I hope, this is taking a while, is your pelvic girdle. This is another part where the types of bones and how we say them is important in bone versus structure. If I ask you what bone this is, you are going to tell me a nominate bone. It means no name bone. So this is the nominate bone. In development, it's three bones that fuse together. You have the ilium, the ischium, or ischium, if you've ever taken Dr. Bray's class and he corrects you five bajillion times on how to pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> really? Maybe he's gotten Lex and is... Is he gone? He was on his way out when I was there. He's really frustrated. Um, he had too many cheaters in his class. I don't understand why you would try and cheat in his class because he does all the same stuff that I make you guys do. Roll up your sleeves, turn your hats off. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, ilium, ischium, and pubis. So, let's see. Like it says in here, you can't really see the difference between these in... Um, in adults, but in younger cats, you can actually see the lines where they fuse. And let's see. Okay, this fossa right here where your hip bone comes in, that's called the acetabulum. And this large hole is the obturator foramen. Right here is the ischiopubis symphysis. And that's because you have the ischium and the pubis as two bones that are coming together right here. And they fuse with the other side. Like I said, if this was the right way, they would fuse together. Um, okay. Appendages. Know the difference between a hind limb and a forelimb? The hind limb, you have much longer tarsuses on. Tarsus? No. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Um, let's see. And your metacarpals. So there are carpals right here, metacarpals. These would be your metatarsals. And your tarsals. So much longer on the hind foot than the front foot. Know the difference between them? Um, okay, and the appendages. No. <laughs> just phalanges. Good. Um, okay, so the different types of bones we have here. There are little ways to recognize every one of them by either sight or feel. It's a good idea to recognize all of these bones by feel as well. Hint, hint. Okay, so this is your femur. The um, either Latin or Greek word for femur means hammer, and it's supposed to look like a little hammer. So It's got this nice big round ball on the end. Then you have